Hey everyone, welcome back, welcome back to another re-review. If you guys don't know, I mentioned this in the last video for my McDonald's review that, uh, that I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going through, you know, and re-reviewing some of these places I reviewed in the past. To see if they've gotten better or they've gotten worse. Some of them I might re-review again and just because too. Because I'm, you know, some of them I, you know, not, sometimes I mess the videos up. I'm thinking about doing that with Kmart. Because, oh, Kmart, the video was good. But I really only had experience with one Kmart. So I kind of, I kind of want to, um, you know, eventually. I'm not going to be doing it right now, but I want to eventually uh, go back and just talk about Kmart as a company in general. So, so yeah. But you guys know the drill. If you guys want to be notified for future videos, please subscribe, hit the notification bell. It it really helps me out. It really does. And I don't think I have anything else to say, so let's go ahead and get into the video. Let's re-review Walmart. So, Walmart. It's been a little while since I reviewed this store. Now, technically, this is not the first uh, store I reviewed. Unlike McDonald's, which was technically the first restaurant I reviewed, I didn't really re review Walmart until later. I reviewed Family Video. But, um, Family Video, I can't really do a re-review on Family Video because they, uh, they closed all the stores down. They closed the remaining ones down. But what I've heard from what people have been saying is actually not too bad. But, uh, but yeah, I, I've been to, like, a couple Family Videos and all that. So, unlike Kmart, I've been to a few of those. But I can't really review those I mean, maybe I could go back and review, like, timelines and all that, you know, but I don't even know if that will work with family video, but it'd be nice to keep that in mind, to keep, you know, these stores, you know, like, in, in you know, like, you know, in line and all that for people who grew up with them and all that, you know, throughout the history, but I don't know, it's going to be a little hard to do that. I'm not going to be doing any of that right now. I'm just reviewing, re-reviewing the stuff that involves if this place changed a lot or not. That's why I reviewed McDonald's, and that's why I'm reviewing Walmart. So, anywho, let's go ahead and talk about this. So, I actually, um, I, I, I was re-watching my video just like McDonald's. I was re-watching my Walmart video. I found out I gave that... I, last time I gave this one a a hundred percent score. Like I gave it a one a one hundred points. But does it still deserve that? Has it gotten better or has it gotten worse? Because McDonald's McDonald's actually gotten better. They're still not great either. They still have their they still have you know their their problems too. But they've got they've actually gotten a bit better. Now, I, I hate to say this, but Walmart, Walmart, on the other hand, Walmart actually has gotten worse. Like, it has gotten a lot worse since, like, I last reviewed it. Yes. While, while um, McDonald's has actually gotten better, they still have a lot of problems, but they've actually gotten better. They've actually fixed some problems with them. Walmart already had some problems with them, but they have got even freaking worse. So somehow they've gotten even worse than then like, I guess it's because they're a massive corporation or something. I don't know, but that seems to be a trend where massive corporations don't seem like they care about fixing problems. They rather make them worse and, and add on to the problems they already have. I mean, like, Disney, Disney, Warner Brothers are examples. They're big, massive corporations that they just keep adding more problems to that, you know, the already problematic, you know, companies and just making it worse. Walmart is basically doing the same exact crap. Yeah, Walmart's doing the same thing. 
So Walmart, I am last time I gave it a, a 100 point score because uh, I didn't really have a whole whole lot of problems with it. Like, well, I had problems with it, but I heard stories and all that with employees and all that with it. But they still had a lot of things I liked to get there and all that. But um, but now I hate to say this, but now now it feels like they've um they've run into some of the problems that I mentioned that I liked going to Walmart for, like for example, getting freaking DVDs there, like getting DVDs. Like I I um, I told you guys I like collecting DVDs and all that, and I go into Walmart. Walmart to, you know, b buy some DVDs, you know, because they have some sets I like. I mean, I don't buy them all the time there because they are expensive sometimes. But usually I don't mind getting them there every so often if I can get them brand new. The problem is, though, is there, there's, like, I don't know if I mentioned this the last time, but this has actually been a problem that's been happening where I've been buying crap like that at at the, at the stores, and they seem to be falling out of the cases a lot more. I had a little bit of problem with that in the past, but it wasn't as bad. Now it's, like, freaking really bad. Like, it's really bad. Like, they're constantly falling out of, like, I mean, falling out of the cases, and they're, they're, they're not staying in there very well. I, 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 bought a, I bought a DVD, you know, of, you know, Ren and Stimpy there, and... And the freaking crap, ain't, it's like loose, it's not staying in there, like it came loose or something, I don't know, like, well, I did hear something rattling in there, I probably should have bought it, but I was like, you know, I could probably return it later, I, I made a mistake in not keeping my receipt, though, but, but, the, but I'm, point, I'm pointing out that they, I'm pointing out that they basically, spit, like, they, they, um, that I keep having this problem with them, and they don't seem to give a shit that, like, like, I'm having this problem here where their crap keeps breaking and all that. And they're like, they're just looking at me like, like, so? I'm like, that's why you need to keep your receipt and all that. And I'm like, well, they didn't say that, but you know what they're thinking in their mind. But I'm, but I'm like, you know what, I don't want to buy, why would I want to buy crap like this at these stores if it keeps freaking breaking and all that? And I was, I was thinking about not even getting Ren and Stimpy, but I was like, you know what? It's it's not too expensive. It's like like it was like twenty something dollars, and I probably could get it about the same price at other stores. I mean, like at Slackers or something or V Stock, you know. So I decided to you know go ahead and buy it. But like I said, I bought it and it's like falling apart. It started falling apart as I opened it. So I'm like, like I thought it's rattling because you know sometimes stuff rattles around in there, but but nope, it was just having a lot of issues. And I'm, and you know, I'm like, this, this is just kind of, this is one of those things that, you know, I'm like, that, that's kind of why I don't like, you know, shopping at some of these places if they, because they have issues with this. But Walmart seems to be having the most issues. It's not, and I, this isn't the only thing. There's also, also other products I bought or I've seen, like books. The books are like, the pages are freaking stuck together or like, like, you know, like, crap's, like, out of place or something like that. It's very unorganized. The employees don't seem to give a shit there. Like, when I go to ask for directions, they they, they, they tend to point me. Like, they, they weren't too bad about this in the past. I mean, they were kind of worse, but they've gotten worse. Like, I've been having a lot more problems with this lately. And it's not just the Fulton Walmart. It's Walmart in general. Like, I'm going to ask a, a worker there where to go to get something. And instead of them, like, showing me where to go, they freaking point me to the direction. And I'm like, that's not freaking a big help because the damn store is still big. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, just better off just freaking looking for it myself, you know. I'm like, why do I need to ask people this? And then the employees themselves don't seem to be, they seem to be grumpy all the time. Like, they're grumpy. I mean, this is kind of a trend I've been noticing with a lot of places these days. Honestly, it could be the gray color coloring or something, I've been, like, in my, in my house, like, I'm not gonna lie, every time I come into my, my dad's house, it's like, it's like this gray color, it's a lot darker, it doesn't look as pretty looking, like, it looks, like, it looks really, really dark, but I really don't like the coloring, I, it's just too dark, but, like, but, you know, like, he's not gonna replace the floor, so I'm kind of stuck with it, but that's the thing, though, if, like, if, 
if you're like also having to work in an environment with co gray coloring and all that, like it just it's it's just so much darker, so you seem more moody and all that. Like I don't know, like I mean I shouldn't say colors matter, like because uh because uh, you know like red, like people are saying red is a bad color and it makes people very moody. But I have a freaking red kitchen and I don't have any problems with that, so I don't get where people are coming from there, but. But, um, but I don't know, but I mean, I shouldn't say anything either, but I've definitely been noticing a trend a lot more, because it's very, it's a lot darker, and it makes everything look freaking plain and, and dull, like, it, I'm not kidding, it's plain and dull, but, um, yeah, but I kind of noticed that, but with Walmart, yeah, it's it's been going, it's been getting worse since then, and Walmart, Walmart's not as dark as other stores. I'll give them that. It's not as dark. It's still got a bunch of gray on the walls, but it doesn't feel as dark. Like like when you're walking into a store, like at Walmart, and it does at like other places, like Target. I think Target's a bit darker. Like like it's a bit more closed in and all that. Like I mean, I was watching someone mention on YouTube about like. Uh, if they do this so people will buy more stuff and all that or something like that, I'm like, that doesn't make me want to buy something, man. It makes me want to freaking leave the store because it's too freaking dark and it's just, it's depressing, just, you know, with no light. So, basically, it's like you're basically in a freaking cave, you know, and there's like freaking no light or anything. So, so, uh, yeah, I don't know. But, yeah, I, but I, I do think the employee, yeah, employees here are definitely very more, they're a lot, but they've been a lot more like, um, like less helpful and more moody than usual. I mean, I've had people like that at Walmart before, but it's been it's like been getting worse. The problem has been getting worse, and I have some people that are somewhat helpful sometimes, but they a lot of times they still seem very moody, like they hate their job and all that, and that. And I, and not to mention the freaking sign. The freaking sign is so damn small now. Walmart is now, the Walmart's been freaking remodeling crap like crazy. Like, they're, they're remodeling stuff all the damn time. See, they used to have, like, the star logo that lasted, I think, it lasted about, I think, about 20 years or so. I don't remember when they started using the star logo. But it lasted, it, it, it appeared in the 90s, and, it, and uh, then they changed it around, I think, 29, I mean, 2009 or 2010, they changed it, and... When they started changing it, a lot of places still had it, but the star logo was still, they still had the little star logo and, you know, and all that, but they remodeled the sign, and, but it still, it still was ginormous, you could still see it when you go to a Walmart, but now it's like, it's so freaking tiny, it makes the, it makes it, the building look so empty now, like, if you go to a Walmart, the freaking sign's so damn small now, it doesn't, it, like, it doesn't feel, like, maybe some people don't get bothered by this, but I do, because I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm, it's like I'm passing or, like, walking to an abandoned building or something, because the freaking sign is so damn small now, it doesn't even cover the freaking building anymore. Like, it used to freaking be on top of the building, now it's not on top of the building anymore. Like, like, God, it's just, it's just, like, freaking Walmart. Walmart is just getting, I feel like it's getting worse. Like, it's, it's getting, it's, it's a lot worse than it was a couple years ago. It's still, I, I still didn't like shopping there a whole lot, but it's still had a bunch of groceries and all that. But now even the freaking, like, I don't know, the, I mean, the groceries are, like, I mean, I haven't heard people complaining too much about them, but I'm, like, but the groceries are like a lot of places like Walmart's I go to the stuff kind of gets moved around all the time and you can't keep up with it. So I'm like I mean this is just kind of been a a problem and all that. It's more of a problem in the the old Walmart in Jefferson City, but but is I've been noticing in other Walmarts too where they like they have the same problem like where crap gets relocated all the damn time that they're freaking very unorganized. And then the employees aren't even freaking standing by the register. They're not standing by the freaking register half the time. Like, I'm not joking. Like, I literally was at, like, like I, I go to Walmart and Fulton all the time. The freaking employees are just standing around doing absolutely nothing. And I'm standing there like, I'm like, I mean, is anyone going to be by the freaking register? Because people aren't freaking doing anything. And then they, yeah, they're, like, they're freaking not by the register at all. They, they freaking don't do anything. Like... I'm not joking, like, I even, even, like, I've even c tried coming later in the day, 
it's the same problem. I mean, they still have some registers and all that are open, but there's, compared to when I was little, yeah, most of the registers are freaking, like, have, like, nobody there. It's like, they're, you're ending up dealing with a long line, you know, because a lot of people get groceries and all that and stock up, you know, and all that. But then I'm just sit, standing there um, waiting to get checked out. I could go to self-checkout, but the self-checkout sometimes can be a bit wonky, too, so. So, yeah, um, but yeah, overall, though, overall, though, um, yeah, Walmart, Walmart has just gotten so much worse. Like, where McDonald's has gotten better, Walmart has gotten way worse since I last reviewed it. And maybe it could be because I didn't really go to a whole bunch of Walmarts, but I, I've been going to a bunch of them, and even then at that time, I still went to a couple. I went to a couple Walmarts because I have one in, you know, Hannibal. I have one in Mexico, and, and um... Yeah, I don't know, but I'm gonna go ahead and say that th this this one this is definitely a bad and 27 points. Yes, but yes, it's 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 definitely a lot worse than it was a few years ago and. Honestly, at this point, I, I'm freaking missing Kmart. I'm freaking missing Kmart. Like, I don't know. I, I, sh I didn't really shop at Kmart too much, but I didn't mind going to the, to the store sometimes. Because had, I had, you know, different versions to go to. Because I think I mentioned this in Kmart that, like, like uh, out of the three that were in Jeff, uh, I, I would say Target was my favorite, Kmart was my second, and Walmart was my third, like my least favorite. Yeah, I guess I, I kind of like going to Kmart. I have been hearing some people saying, like, when they were closing down in Kmart stores, there's been some issues with mold on the ceiling and all that, but, but that's for another video. Um, But, yeah, I don't know, but I do I kind of miss Kmart, but Kmart just sadly, Kmart's pretty much gone at this point. I think they've got, like, two stores left, and then they're they're gone. They're gone. I mean, they didn't have a whole lot to them, but they still had, like, it still was another store to shop at, you know, besides Walmart and Target, you know, but I don't know, but but I don't know what to really say here, but yeah, it's sad that this, this place has just gotten worse. Like, I don't think there's anything that's really gotten better at this at Walmart. I feel like everything's just getting worse. Like, the sign, the sign, like, is freaking worse now. I kind of like the, the, uh, the star logo. I thought the star logo was kind of nice, and, you know, and all that. And, but it was kind of nice. You know, but it was, like, the star logo was definitely a nice-looking, you know, effect to it. But then they went to this weird-looking circle thing over here, and I'm like... I don't know what that is, but it still has a good logo, but now it's like freaking very tiny. The sign's very tiny, and you can't see it very well. There's still a lot of Walmarts that have it, but they're, they're changing them all up again. They keep freaking remodeling. Walmart can't keep up with things, and I think Walmart's going into a, a, a way right now where they're, they're, they're like, um, they're, 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 try, they're trying too hard to compete with Amazon. They should kind of, I mean, it's all right to compete with Amazon at times because, you know, then, you know, that creates competition for Amazon. But on the other hand, they, they, I thought they need to do some of this crap, you know, themselves too and, and do their own thing instead of, you know, trying to, too much to, like, compete with this stuff. Because that's what happened with Blockbuster. Freaking Blockbuster, part of its downfall was it, was Blockbuster was um, trying to compete with Netflix and Netflix ended up overshadowing them, and, and now, now now Blockbuster is is mostly gone, except for like one in, in Oregon, and now people are getting to the point where they're actually missing Walmart. I mean, I mean, I mean Blockbuster. I don't know why I said Walmart. I meant to say Blockbuster, but I think that's what's happening with Kmart. Too. Kmart's the same way. People are kind of missing Kmart because not, now we've only got like two different like retail stores that you know sell a bunch of different stuff. Because Kmart also sold, was, Kmart was more like a, it was more like Target, because they didn't have as much groceries, but it was still another store to kind of, you know, compete with Walmart. I mean, I guess we had the dollar stores too, but the dollar stores don't have a whole lot of groceries in them, so they're kind of forced to go to Walmart, but, um, because Walmart has all the groceries, I mean, I mean, you could go to other grocery stores too, but. 
usually, you know, Walmart was a, a place that had, like, everything there. It had everything, you know, there. And that goes for Kmart and, and Target, too. But I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen with Kmart. Because Kmart, it's pretty much dead. Like, it's it's almost dead. Like, Kmart is almost extinct in, in the U.S. and all. It, it's in Australia and all. I think they, I heard that they're doing very well in Australia. But I think Kmart in Australia is different than in the U.S. So, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I didn't really care for Kmart, like, a whole, whole bunch. But I, but I always liked going in there just to look around because... Tar well, Target and Walmart always had a bunch of people. Well, I mean, I guess Kmart did too, but but Kmart was not as unorganized, I felt like, as, you know, Walmart was. And Target, well, Target wasn't too bad either, but I don't know. But I figured, you know, I figured it's time to re-review this. But, yeah, sadly, though, sadly, they've, um, you know, have not gotten better. You know, Walmart's definitely gotten worse, while McDonald's has gotten better. But... Maybe in a couple years, maybe they'll get better, or maybe they'll just shut down. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, honestly. I don't know, because Walmart, uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen with Walmart, because uh, Walmart is kind of, Walmart is, uh, you know, a, a company that's kind of got, it's got a bunch of locations that are like in areas where they don't have a lot of competition. But that's the problem with, with like Walmart and Jeff. It's got so much competition. I'm I'm wait. I'm wanting to know if Target's gonna freaking take out Kmart. I mean, I mean, uh, Walmart or not. I would love to see that because I know people have problems with freaking Target and they're like, I guess they're like transgender or whatever or LGBTQ outfit they were trying to sell. But I'm like, I I just didn't really get what where people like were fighting about that. I guess maybe because it's uh, I mean, they don't want it to plasterized kids, but come on, kids aren't going to go to the freaking store and see that. I, I don't know. I, don't, I mean, it's better than, like, Walmart and all. Walmart, they don't have, like, they have, like, just one, like, I, I've i not been able to find two gender shoes. There's only, like, female shoes, and that's it. And, I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm gender fluid myself, but I'm, like, even then, I'm, like, why can't there be more shoes? Like, why can't there be, because I, I have, you know, different shape of feet, you know? So I can't, I mean, I could actually, well, I could wear some of these shoes. I could probably wear women's shoes, but, but, you know, I might, but, but, you know, the fact that they don't have male shoes for people who want to wear, be dressed all fancy, yeah, that's definitely a problem. But I don't know, but I better go ahead and probably let things go from here. This is actually kind of a short review. Um, I guess it is over 22 minutes, so there's that, but. I guess you guys can tell me what you guys think about shopping at Walmart these days. I haven't heard hearing a lot more complaints. Like, e even Phantom Strider, I watched one of his videos. Uh, which, by the way, he's a really good YouTuber. You guys should check him out. He actually uh, talked about some of these stores and all that. And um, I think I even pointed, I, I think I pointed out in the comments on his Twitter thing about Walmart there. And although he um, he picked my different comment from GameStop, um. Which, by the way, has not gotten any better, but that's what GameStop... I mean, Game, well, GameStop is not, like... I don't think GameStop was awful, just that one location that was bad. But that's the thing. I don't feel like it's fair to, like, review these stores either, you know, if I'm re reviewing just one. That's the problem with Kmart. Like, there was only really one I went to because all the other ones shut down, like, so early on in my life. But, uh, I don't know. But I better go ahead and probably end up letting things go from here, though, so... I will see you guys all later. Bye-bye.